hello everyone uh, today i am talk about how you can get the seven band in your speaking especially in your speaking how you can get seven or 7.5 uh, some uh, important uh, things you just keep in your mind if you want to get a seven band in your speaking and do these all type of uh, things on your daily basis okay uh, first of all speak some english okay speak some english every day if you want to get higher score if you want to make your fluency is better in speaking first of all speak some english in every day okay if you speak uh, something every day then it is really a uh, beneficial for you to improve your skill drastically than to speak your native language okay so uh, it's not depend you just uh, speak in ielts class you just speak uh, uh, more and more english uh, at your home on daily basis okay and the second is uh, uh, ask the examiner question if you don't understand okay second is you must say uh, to examiner if you don't understand the question okay agar aapko samajh nahi aaya you can say to your uh, examiner to repeat it again okay it's uh, really uh, important and necessary for you then second is do a 24 hour 24 hour english warm up okay english warm up means it takes uh, uh, most to, uh, students 10 to 15 minutes to warm up and perform best and ability uh, to their ability on test day okay you can speak uh, 10 or 15 minutes on a test day it means you uh, 10 or 15 minutes you just warm up with the, uh, your uh, english skills okay just you should speak write read and listen english for 24 hours before your ielts speaking test okay before your ielts speaking test okay to our day ielts speaking test to pehla you speak 24 hours english you read english you write english you listen english you speak english okay 24 hours before your speaking it's really beneficial you make fluency your understanding is improve in english at that time okay uh but it's really effect on your score it means not you are crazy you 24 hours you just speak read write english but it's definitely uh, beneficial for your scoring okay next is give full answer okay don't say only yes or no and in one line answer okay just give you can speak more uh, in english uh, and uh, because if you give very short answer there is no way to examiner can know how you uh, how good you are in english therefore you should try to extend your answer more explain with examples uh, try to uh, more examples okay uh, uh, give more example to your t uh, examiner so uh, he or she judge you how you speak in english and how is your fluency this kind of okay and secondly uh, we talk about uh, mistakes okay uh, especially uh, when you are nervous uh, about exam correcting your mistakes as you can show the examiner that is really do no grammar and vocabulary okay when you make small mistakes and say sorry and repeat the sentence it's not work okay uh, it's not compulsory you speak uh, then uh, it's necessary examiner notes you okay so just speak continuously don't say sorry don't highlight your uh, important points okay uh, then we talk uh, about uh, the most important thing in this is uh, opening sentence okay in speaking what are the opening sentences in speaking opening sentence means you can um, you can say journal lines you always say uh, we put some journal lines okay it's opening sentence opening sentence like you can say um, i would like to uh, say about this i am going to talk about this this is very interesting thing for me although it is interesting for me what it is not work like that okay you opening sentence more focus on opening sentences in your speaking when you uh, work on opening sentences uh, this definitely work for you okay uh, i hope you understand these tricks and uh,
must apply for your speaking and tomorrow i'm also talk about some important phrases how you can use in your speaking thank you have a nice day